So, yours or a family piece, or how did you get it? Well, it comes from my grandfather, and he had a big collection of clocks and watches, and um, when he died, he left them to different members of the family. So, do you know anything about it at all? Well, I know it's got this chime on it that chimes three times, I think, with the okay. quarter of an hour, because I used to play with that when I was a child. It's very typically French-looking. Right. Typical miniature carriage timepiece. Uh-huh. And look at this lovely dial. Isn't that so it's pretty? Beautiful, isn't it? It's sort perfect. of mauve, translucent enamel. Yeah. Lovely filigree hands and lovely bands of little gilt decoration there. Absolutely charming. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. But the giveaway, as you said, that it's a repeater is the knob on the top. And that's presumably what you played with yes. as a youngster. Yes, it is. Well, the other giveaway, of course, is we can see the two goals. And I'm going to press the button now and you should see and hear it all. So as you see, it did the hours and then the ding-dong for each mm. quarter. You have to imagine a hundred odd years ago mm. when people travelled, particularly to house parties, there were very, very few houses with gas or electric light. Mm. So you could have had this on your bedside, and if you wanted to know the time in the dead of night, you could just right. have leant out and pressed that. Right. And it always repeats to the preceding quarter. Right. So even at one minute to 11, it will still do what it did then, right. which is 10.45. Wow. Right. I love it. If that came on the market now, mm -hmm. at auction, uh -huh. it's about £3,000. Wow. Yeah. I was expecting you to say a couple of hundred. Listen, if I saw it in a shop for a couple of hundred, I'd be a happy boy. <laughs>